Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you a problem that you may face occasionally and how to overcome it. And now you can see that we have an emulator. The emulator is running and it looks fine when you click on any of the buttons. It is really responsive and it is working as expected. However, when I try to look at the devices view, you can see there are no devices listed here. And this is because the ADB is not functioning as expected. Sometimes you could come across such problems where the ADB is not able to detect uh, devices or emulators that are connected. And to, to fix this, there are a couple of ways. The first one is to go to your emulator, close it, close all instances of your emulators, and then restart them once again, one by one. But this is not effective because sometimes you have to restart the emulator more than two or three times and it randomly picks up your emulator. So the best way to do it is to kill your ADB manually and then restart it once again. This is the most effective way to do it and I'm going to show you how to do that exactly. First go to your terminal, open it and you should have your uh, tools and the platform tools folder in the path as shown in the first section and once you have your terminal we're going to run a command called as adb kill hyphen server so that is adb space kill hyphen server press enter and your adb will be killed the next thing you're going to do is to restart your adb you can do that by typing adb devices so once you do it when you do adb devices you can see the the daemon will start again because we have killed it previously and then under the list of devices attached you should be able to see your emulator or your android device let's check if this was successful go back to eclipse and open the devices view and now you can see that we have the emulator running and if you open logcat you will also be able to see the log messages so this is a common problem that you may be facing when you're developing uh, with Eclipse. So the solution is to kill your ADB and restart it. If killing the ADB does not work for the first time, try to do the same for a couple of times and then you should be good to go. That's about it and I just wanted to make sure that if you face any problems with your ADB and your emulator, this could be really a lifesaver. It could save a lot of time and that's why I wanted to show you this video. And if you have any questions on this, please feel free to ask. Thank you.